a warming bowl of noodle soup. The traditional soup is full of healthy vegetables, herbs and lots of flavour. But there's one drawback. All that chopping and reducing and cooking do take time. But this may help to explain the popularity of all the instant soups available on the market today. Life for many of the ingredients in an instant soup starts out in trucks and believe it or not, this one is full of sugar. Soup producers use sugar in many of their recipes because it adds flavour to the final taste. These workers are sorting another important ingredient, dried leeks. Any burnt ones are removed, but the rest will be added to the final mixture. And this is where the meatballs are made. All different parts of the cow are used from the haunch to the throat. Its first stop is the mincer. Once it's all ground down to a basic consistency, it's added into an industrial mixer. Other key ingredients are added, dried egg white powder, breadcrumbs and spices. Together they help bind everything to make the meatballs for the soup. The whole mixture is then passed down through this cylinder and into the meatball machine. The little balls that emerge from the bottom are sprinkled with flour and shaken so they don't all stick together. Hundreds of racks of fresh meatballs are then placed into a large drying oven where they all spend about two hours. With all the ingredients prepared, now it's time to mix them into the right combinations for the various soup varieties. Here the dried leek is being added. The cart it's fed into is a large set of scales on wheels. This helps the worker to measure the right amount of each ingredient. As well as dried vegetables, he will also include spices such as paprika, salt and pepper and garlic powder. And there's one other ingredient that always helps enhance the flavour, and that's fat. It starts out as liquid, but to get it into the soup it has to be solidified. The liquid fat is cooled to minus 14 degrees Celsius. That way it can be chipped into little flakes. If the cooks poured liquid fat into the mixing bowl, it wouldn't disperse evenly. The whole mix is then sent to these big blenders where the ingredients are thoroughly combined. Instant soup production is a massive industry in the UK. There are about 10 major companies that produce it and the industry is worth over £73 million every year. Competition is fierce, so leading soup makers also employ taste testers to keep their profitable business on the boil. The feedback from these testers will determine which new flavours are deemed good enough to make it to the supermarket shelves. Back on the production line, the soup is ready to be packed up. But what happened to the meatballs? Well, this machine is taking care of them. They're fed down into the hoppers that will distribute a specific weight of meatballs into every packet. As they fall, they're combined with the soup powder and the noodles, which are also being added to the packets below. The final machine in this part of the production line seals the top of the packets with these heated grips and the soup is ready to go. Each packet is loaded into a box containing the same flavour and these boxes are then shipped around the production plant to the storage facility. With a huge variety of flavours on the market, from chicken noodle soup to minestrone, workers make sure that the different varieties are boxed separately. One company claims that more than 250 million mugs of its famous instant soup are consumed every year. It's an intensive industrial process that tempts consumers to turn on the kettle and cook up a hot cup of soup.